Hey Kyle, hey Stacy. Um, I'm here to give my final reflection and review of my project. Um, again, just a quick recap, my project was a social media plan and organization for my current ministry site, which is the Lutheran Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, we're a campus ministry. Um, we have our own building, we have our own sanctuary, um, so we have a lot of work to do. Um, our project in reaching the goal, I I mean, it's going to be hard to tell so early, but I went over my social media plan with my supervisor slash boss, Pastor Adam, and he's actually really excited because um, he and I both know that our social media presence is pretty horrible, and he's on board with trying to improve that for the Lutheran Center. Um, a lot of our kids actually still use Facebook. He's skeptical about Twitter, but I think we have a lot of folks on Twitter. Um, so I'm actually really excited to be able to uh, use this social media plan throughout the rest of the semester and see how we can get students to engage with, with us via social media rather than just in our building. Um, so we're still in the process of seeing how we're going to reach folks. Our, my biggest goal with this was to try to engage students and I think also show others what we're up to rather than just tell. We have a weekly email news blast that goes out and that's fine and it has just information um, and we don't really use our Facebook very well. Often the only time we use it is for sign-ups or to remind people about something different that's going on at the center, whether it's Adam leading a group to Taze or when we have a worship time change. So I think um, what I started to do at least this past week, because I was still in Virginia the week after our class, uh, is show people what we're up to at the Lutheran Center. So we have a fireplace and we had a fire going the other day and I Instagrammed it and I shared that on Facebook. and. I think doing things like that will help remind people what we're about um, because we're also in the middle of a capital campaign. So a lot of the things people are seeing are campaign related and money related and I'm not necessarily sure that that's good to have it just be that. I think we can get people excited about the Lutheran Center by getting them excited about who we are and what our identity is. And because I, the students and I and Pastor Adam and our staff really love the center and what we're about. And so I'm hoping we can continue to show others who we are and what we do and how we serve God and through Christ. Um, a really great example is I, this was my first week back, so we had a student preach on our, on Wednesday night and using our Lutheran Center Twitter account, I tweeted it and we didn't really get much engagement, but the next day, Pastor Adam was out to dinner with one of our alums and the alum asked, hey, how was Jacob's sermon? And Adam was really confused. He's like, oh, what did you hear about it? And the alum actually saw on Twitter that Jacob was preaching that night. So I think that was a good reminder that people are paying attention to what we post, um, even if they're not always liking it or sharing it or commenting on it. Um, so I, I was really remembering Meredith's book and how she says a lot of people look at stuff. So to not see lack of engagement as a negative that people still see what we're doing so i'm actually really hopeful about our project and i think we'll be able to get others engaged by just enhancing our presence but it's going to take maybe a couple weeks till folks really see that consistently from us i've learned a lot from the class and from this project um, i'm very type a and i like to be organized and planned so actually creating this the spreadsheet, as you guys will see, really helped me see um, visually what it looks like to have a social media plan and to really think about what's important to post on what days and what social media platforms to use. Uh, so I'm actually, this was really practical for me. And when I have my own church someday, I envision doing something like this and getting either my communicator or if I'm with another pastor or other staff members on board so we can work together and have a social media presence to engage our folks and our people in the name of God and Christ. Um, this, it was just really useful to think about these skills and how to use Facebook, how to use Instagram, what are the stories we're trying to tell as a community, uh, and how to use Twitter. Um, Twitter's weird because a lot of people are out there and it's helping me think about what types of things to share using 
a church's account rather than my personal account. Um, so these, this has been very practical and useful for me. Um, and I hope that at least through this process, I'll be able to get more of our staff members on board, um, such as Pastor Adam. And we have a, a big student staff, and I think this can be a way to engage our student peer ministers. So I think this was incredibly useful for me and just good practice for the future for when I'm in my own ministry, in my own church. Um, yeah, and so I really appreciated the class and this project and being able to think differently about um, social media and the church. And this is a good reminder that this is where people are and we can serve them and love them and show them God through social media. So I really appreciated this and I hope you guys enjoy the project. I showed you some samples. So enjoy and thanks again.